Good morning, church family. My name is Dave Tucker. And in keeping with what Dr. Hogg started last week, I would like to continue with the daily lectionary. So today, the scripture that jumped out at me it was, was Hebrews 12, 1-3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility toward himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. We are in the middle of Holy Week. This is a time where we remember the sacrificial love Jesus demonstrated for us by dying on the cross for the redemption of all. In the midst of this pandemic, Holy Week and Easter take on a whole new meaning for us. The author of the Hebrews in today's lectionary reading is drawing strong parallels between living the Christian life and running a race. As we think of this analogy, I would like for us to focus on several things. First, let us not forget that none of us are in a vacuum. Our siblings in Christ are running their own race. So my question is, what are some tangible ways that we can encourage one another in this race? Second, we are being cheered on by a great cloud of witnesses, those who have run the race before us. It is no mistake that this reading follows the faith chapter in Hebrews chapter 11. In the faith chapter, the author of Hebrews mentions a few people who lived by faith and are now in the presence of God. Think of those in your life who have passed on who are part of your cloud of witnesses cheering you on. Third, Hebrews 12.1 tells us that there are weights and sins that weigh us down and slow our progress in the race. The author of Hebrews tells us to put aside these things. So my question is, what are some of the things that are weighing you down right now? Is it loneliness? Fear of the unknown? Fear of contracting the coronavirus? Fear of a loved one getting sick? What would it look like to take these weights off and give them to Jesus? Fourth, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Jesus, the Son of God, came to this earth, lived a sacrificial life, and showed us the love of the Father. Jesus loved so much that he was willing to die for us on the cross. But thank God the story doesn't end there. He was raised on the third day and is now sitting at the right hand of God. Even though the world is in the midst of a pandemic, we can have peace and hope. Even though social media and the news is full of bad news, threatening to distract us from the race set before us, by focusing our eyes on Jesus, all the distractions that the world tries to throw at us seem to just fade away. Remember, even though our church is empty, the tomb is empty too. Through our separation, we can still have a resurrection spirit in our souls, and we can truly say, it is well with my soul. Come thou fount of every blessing, turn my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy, never ceasing, calls for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mountain, fixed upon it, 
mount of God redeeming love. I will sing. 